For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, warmer weather's hopefully on the way. Many Mavic Mini owners who aren't holed up in isolation, it's going to be their first chance to get out flying. Sadly, there's plenty of things that can go wrong, all of them avoidable, and that's what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian. I play with drones. Look, lots to get through today, so I'm going to jump straight into what to do to avoid crashing. Some of these points are fairly fundamental, but others are not so obvious. But all of them I've picked up over the years. So here goes. Start off with the single most basic. Know your drone. Know the controls, buttons and how to fly. Don't run before you walk. This thing is too easy to crash, breaks easily and costs loads to fix. Watch some videos on how to set it up and actually fly the Mini rather than just assuming that it's straightforward, cause it's not. Uh, number two, secondly, do not try and fly indoors. I know many of you are holed up in uh, isolation at the moment and it's easy to be keen to uh, test this out inside, but really it's so easy to hit a wall and the moment it hits the wall or the ceiling, it's just gonna, the props are gonna stop and it's just gonna fall to the ground. If you've got the combo and you really need to fly inside, then fit the prop guards. But really, best of all, fly outside. And also on being stuck inside, don't be tempted to fly from a window or a balcony. It might be easy to take off, but it's very, very hard to return and you will usually crash. Number four, when you do get outside, don't take off from a car or anything metal as it's gonna mess up the compass. Find a flat rock or use the, uh, use the case. You can take off from the case and it's very easy to uh, hand catch for its return. I uh, did a video on that, so you can easily uh, have a quick look. <clears throat> but uh, if you try and take off from the top of your car, it's just gonna mess up the compass and that will confuse the, uh, the Mini. Uh, number five, if the compass is confused and it's asking you to calibrate, then do so. It's really easy and again, it will stop your Mini sailing away in the wrong direction. Uh, number six, check the weather. Is it windy? Wind is stronger at higher levels and can easily blow the Mini away, as I found out to my own cost. Um, hilltops, mountains, river gorges, they can all create areas of strong wind that will affect your flight and cause problems. Use the apps to help you understand if it's good to fly, and if you're unsure, just stay low for a bit, stay close to you, so you can land easily if things start going wrong. Next point, before you take off, just check your surroundings. If it is blown off course, are you gonna be able to retrieve it? Uh, will it get blown out over to sea or over a town or a city? Are there any tall structures or pylons that you could fly into? Always choose somewhere that's far away from trees, building and people. Uh, next, uh, one that still catches me out all the time, don't leave the gimbal clamp on. Um, it's very easy to forget during the startup and uh, it'll go through its little startup procedure and it'll strain the motors and give you a gimbal overload. So just always remember, take off the gimbal guard. And next, when you're ready to take off, fire it up and make sure you wait for the green takeoff GPS indicator for the home point to be set. If you don't have full GPS, uh, the, you're going to be at the mercy of it drifting in even the slightest of breezes. And if the home point isn't set properly, then um, it's not going to know where to come back to if you lose signal. Ten, once you do take off, get high above obstacles and trees. Apart from the wind, you are always going to be much safer up high above trees and buildings. So stay up there and enjoy the view. Just keep an eye on it if it starts to drift. Next point, bit obvious, don't rely on anti-collision sensors. For a start, the Mavic Mini doesn't have any, but if you're flying a different drone like the Mavic Pro or the Air, then keep in mind they're not gonna pick up twigs or uh, power lines. And on that, power lines, stay well away. You won't see them on screen and you'll definitely not be able to retrieve your drone if it gets tangled up. Power lines are bad news all around, so stay away from power lines. And next, talking of the screen, when flying, don't get sucked into the screen. It's very easy to get sucked into just looking at the screen without keeping an eye on what's going on actually around you. Stop flying for a second, look up, make sure you know where the drone is, spin it round maybe to re-establish where it's pointing. And better still, fly with a friend who will be a good spotter, but not a distraction. It is always a good idea to have somebody keeping an eye on the surroundings and where your drone is flying. Make sure you don't get too distracted though, and don't fly with a group of mates who are definitely just gonna distract you and possibly egg you on to do stuff that you wouldn't otherwise do. 
Next is water. Many different things to go wrong when you're flying over water. And generally, if it does go wrong, uh, you won't get it back because it will fall in the water. Uh, for a start, the downward vision uh, sensors can get very confused over the reflective surface. So make sure you stay a good 5 to 10 meters or 20 to 30 feet above the water when flying so you don't have a sudden uncontrolled descent, as does happen sometimes. Also, bridges are a great way to crash, as you may think you're in the clear and you can rise up prematurely only to hit the structure from above and again the props will stop and it will fall straight into the water. Remember, anything you hit, be it a bridge, a tree, a bird, is going to cause the props to stop and down it will go for a swim. Next up, uh, trees. Probably the single thing that causes most crashes and I, I really just don't know why. Yeah, it's great to get that uh, dynamic flyby shot, but remember things look further away on screen than they really are. You may not see the small twigs that will uh, snarl up your props. And remember if you're below a tree and uh, the low battery or the return to home kicks in, all that's going to happen is it's going to go up into its return to home altitude and hit the overhanging branches and snarl up. So just keep a little bit extra care when you're flying uh, around trees. Next point, when you're flying back towards you. Uh, this is an easy way to get confused because the controls are reversed. Uh, left becomes right, forwards become backwards. So just get into the habit of tapping the stick slightly to double check which way the drone is going to go before you're going full stick. And on this, uh, flying backwards uh, with the drone facing away from you, so flying backwards in reverse is also a great way to crash. You've got no camera view and no sensors, so be really sure about your path if you're flying backwards and be well above obstacles because you quite literally are flying blind. Next point, uh, know your flight modes. Be aware of them and what they can do for you. Cinematic is really useful for slowing things right down and getting those smooth shots if you're un still unsure about flying. Conversely, sports mode is easily the uh, best way and quickest way to uh, crash as it fires up your speed and massively increases the braking distance. To me, sports mode is really only useful when you are flying out on long open distances. Otherwise, stay out of it and stick to P mode. Point 20, on that. Don't fly too far. Keep a VLOS or visual line of sight and remember that you need just as much battery to get home as you did to get out there. The Mini has got an automatic indicator that is constantly recalculating how soon you're going to need to re uh, return to home based on how far away you've flown. But it doesn't know anything about the wind direction and if you have to fly back against the wind then you're going to use up more battery. Remember the golden rule, always fly out into the wind and fly home with the wind. And on battery levels, Golden rule, don't push the battery. Things tend to go wrong below 40% battery. Not only will you start making poor decisions, pushing for that last picture, but especially on the Mini, as the voltage drops, so will the power of the motors reduce, making a blow away more likely. If you haven't bought your drone yet, uh, do consider getting the combo package that is going to give you that extra battery. Spare battery is going to stop you taking chances, and also a car charger is really useful to get recharged on the move. Golden rule, don't push the battery. And if you do find yourself a bit lost, use the map in the lower left corner. Tap it to enlarge and see where your drone is and which way to head home. The arrow and the straight line shows you which way you need to fly in order to get back to you. It's a really, really useful display that unfortunately is hidden unless you tap it and use it. <clears throat> 23, on getting home, don't rely on return to home as a foolproof failsafe. It's far from it. It does not have hidden power. And if you're struggling to get home, it may actually make things even worse by flipping you out of sports mode and into lower powered P mode. If you are struggling to return to home and the Mini isn't really doing what you want it to, it's probably being blown away by the stronger winds up above. If that's happening, reduce the height, try using sports mode and try and head back. If that still doesn't work, do a remote landing before you lose the battery or lose signal. Use auto land to make sure it still lands okay, even if it loses signal as it descends down to the ground. And finally, if it has crashed or landed remotely, know how to use the Find My Drone function. This will lead you right to the last known position of the Mini, even if it is the following day. Use the map layers to see exactly where it landed, and hopefully it will lead you straight to your little drone. And finally, uh, whilst this actually isn't a way to crash it, it's probably just as important. When you are up flying, don't forget to press record. And if you have pressed record, make sure it's registered. You would absolutely laugh if you knew how many times I have been so focused on flying that I completely missed the fact that I wasn't recording. Right up there with realizing you left your micro SD card at home. So on another 
quick tip there keep a spare sd card in your case and make sure that red square is showing when you're filming and that way you know you're recording all the amazing moves that you're carrying out so look I um, have to say, uh, there we go, marathon fast video today, but hopefully these points are going to all help save a few minis out there. Uh, just think before you fly. Don't get distracted. Keep a cool head if things aren't going quite to plan. Hopefully you'll live to fly another day. So look, as ever, if you like this stuff, hit the old like, click the sub, ding the dong, comment below for any other ways that you've had close calls or any other tips you've got for keeping it safe. Either way, look, until next time, keep sane, stay healthy, have fun, happy flying.